I was so in love with him. He brought up the idea of blood covenant. I just wanted to prove to him how much I loved him. He even told me how much he loved me and that the only way I was supposed to prove to him that I loved him back was to enter into a blood covenant with him. And that was how we entered into the covenant. We used a razor. He cut his finger and I cut my own finger too. Then we exchanged the blood. I was in love with him. I was really in love with him. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Comfort Udo and this is Just Week Comfy. If you're stumbling upon this channel for the very first time or you're seeing my face for the very first time, you're highly welcome here on this channel. I create content relating to Just that's trending just interesting topics and then lifestyle vlogs and sometimes cooking vlogs so if this is the content you would like to subscribe to do want to hit that red subscribe button and the post notification bell in that way you always get notified when i post a new video so without further ado i'm just going to go right into today's topic so today's topic i'm going to be bringing up a topic of interest and just sharing it with you guys and trust me it's going to be very very interesting i wouldn't want to be the only one talking so just hit over to the comment section and drop down your comments let's make it very interactive and let me hear your own opinion on this subject matter so on today's video we're going to be talking about blood covenant yes we'll be talking about blood covenant so if at all you've been in that shoes before you've been in the shoes that you had to take a blood covenant or somebody told you to take a blood covenant with the person or you know somebody that took a blood covenant or you've heard any story about blood covenant i would like you to go down to the comment section and let's have a conversation about it so yeah let's drive right into the video So first of all, before we go down into talking about this blood covenant of a thing, we're just going to define what a covenant is. So from the dictionary, a covenant is an agreement or a promise between two or more persons to do or not to do a particular thing. So it's an agreement or promise between two or more persons to do or not to do a particular thing. So now, how we know the meaning of a covenant, let's now go down into understanding what blood covenant is. It's as simple as just adding blood to the covenant. And so we just have to add blood to the definition of the covenant we had. So you now know that when we're talking about blood covenant, it's not just the normal covenant. We are now including blood in it. And it could either be a blood of a human or it could be the blood of an animal or whatever but blood will be involved so before we get down into discussing this topic in details i would just like to break down some of the methods that people use in in going into this blood covenant most of the times the most common one is by incision this is a situation where somebody will just get a sharp object a razor or any of that sort and then make a mark on the person's body it could either be on the finger or any part of the body that blood would come out so it's just to make a mark on the body for blood to come out and when blood is out the two party either exchange the blood by direct leaking of each other's blood or a glass could be taken and the blood will be poured into the glass and then another liquid substance could be mixed inside and the two parties will drink or any other party involved if it's more than two will have to drink from that glass where the blood and another liquid is mixed together this is just one of this is just one of the common methods of going into a blood covenant so before we get down into talking more on this I just want to put it out there that covenant itself is not a bad thing as humans our daily lives we go through processes and stages that we need to go into a covenant if i sign a deal with a particular brand to be their brand ambassador and i'm being given an agreement or terms and conditions and i later endorse it and the company too endorses it and we both agree to the terms and conditions from their side and from my side and we go into the deal that is automatically a covenant if somebody goes to buy a land and in the process of exchange of document definitely agreement will be signed that is a form of covenant covenant can be done not necessarily with blood so the term covenant itself is not a bad thing but where it is bad is where i am coming to so as we proceed 
there are two different types of blood covenants there is a good blood covenant and there is one that is not good and i'm going to first of all talk about the good one which happens to be the covenant that we as christians have entered with our lord jesus christ we know that the covenant we have with jesus is through the blood of jesus so if actually you're a christian you're supposed to know this that being a child of God or being a Christian, you've entered into a blood covenant with God. And that was why God sent his only begotten son to come and die for us. That was automatically a blood covenant. If you can flash back in the Bible days, you could realize that back then in the Bible, before Jesus came, most of the things that were done by the high priest and others were always through blood. They had to kill animals, do sacrifices. Even during the Passover, the angel that was passing by told them, that they should kill an animal and sprinkle the blood on their doorposts. And when once he sees the blood, he's going to pass over them. So from the onset, covenants were always entered with blood. Then when Jesus Christ came, that was the greatest blood covenant that was done. And as Christians, going um, being saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, automatically you've entered a blood covenant with Jesus. And that is totally fine. But the ones that are not right are the ones that people do nowadays between one another. In my own opinion, I would just tell you the way I feel. I feel going into a blood covenant as Christians is not right. And trust me, you have your own opinion on this. It's just for you to go down to the comment section and tell me what you feel about the blood the topic of blood covenant if you feel is right fine you have your own opinion go down to the comment section and let me know reasons why you feel is right but me i'm just going to tell you from my own angle and why i see it is not right so now let's talk about blood covenant between two persons in a relationship so first of all i say it's not right as christians to go into a blood covenant if you check matthew chapter 5 from verse 34 to 37 you hear that when the bible rightly says let your yes be yes and your no be no no um, nobody should swear under heavens or with anything on earth or in heaven let your yes be yes and let your no be no so having known this going into a blood covenant in my own opinion is not right because why do people go into covenant in the first place to ensure that the promises they have made to each other is established and none none of the parties will break the covenant people mostly go into covenants because of trust so if we are christians if you say yes let your yes be yes there is no need of going into a blood covenant just to make another person believe that what you said you will actually fulfill it we have noticed that this blood covenant matter when it comes to relationship mostly happens among teenagers because then they are exposed to this thing of oh my god i'm in love with this person i'm in love with you i am never going to leave you and you will notice that at that stage they will easily say okay let's go into a blood covenant just promise me that you will never leave me and they will eventually go into a blood covenant that could later have side effect on them in future before i proceed I'm just going to give a brief story of what I watched recently online and that was actually what triggered this video so I saw this video about the student that went into school the, a female she went into the higher institution newly and she met this guy and they were so in love and she fell in love with the guy according to them she fell in love with the guy and then they decided to go into a blood covenant that they will never leave each other so the guy was her senior and when the guy graduated she found out that she saw another person that she liked better than that guy and she decided to call the guy the previous person and told him that she's not ready to continue this relationship with him anymore the guy continued begging and begging and begging one thing led to another the point is that the guy ended up killing her and after killing her he made a call to his friend and told his friend that he has killed this girl and that he's going to also take his life and told the friend the location of where they will locate two of them's dead body so he moved the pole away and he also killed himself so when people came around they saw the corpse of the lady pose away from the guy from this story i personally believe that it's the blood covenant that they went into that must have led to this because when a covenant is being contracted there is always another being in the middle of those two people. Yes, that is one of the things that people don't know. And most of this suicide that people commit in the name of love could eventually come out of the fact that they must have entered a blood covenant. If you ask me, in my own opinion, I feel that out of 100 of suicide, 80 
will be as a result of a blood covenant that each of the party must have gone into. From the story I just narrated, I felt that the covenant that they went into must have contributed to the fact that this guy didn't even know when he killed the person he claimed he loved and also killed himself. Because one of the things that people don't know is that anytime they go into a blood covenant, they have just made a covenant that involves their life. Because the Bible rightly says in Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So when you're not going into a blood covenant, automatically your life is involved because the life of the flesh is in the blood blood is a very very strong thing when people go into covenants with blood it is very very strong and it must surely be backed up with something that is one of the things that most of the youths that go into this covenant they don't really know they just think okay i'm just saying it because definitely during a blood covenant there, there are always promises made before um, going into the covenant proper so people don't really know that this thing might backfire they just feel okay it's just a mere talk i can easily just bounce out the same way you moved into the covenant there are still processes and steps you will have to do to get yourself out of the covenant i feel why people most people do go into this thing is because they are ignorant about the fact that what they are actually seeing is real they just feel it's normal talk let's just talk and leave or let's just leave blood and go they don't know that things spiritually it's actually backed up and it must surely come to actualization in most cases except when the person or the parties involved prayerfully breaks the covenant the consequences will always come there is always a spirit backing that claim just like how we are christians in the covenant we have with the blood of jesus jesus is the mediator so when others are also having covenant there is also a mediator that will ensure that whatever agreement was said in that covenant will be carried out so from my own opinion entering into a blood covenant is not the best way to show that you've loved somebody or you are you you are in love with the person i don't feel that is the right approach if your yes is yes as a Christian and your no is a no as a Christian, I don't see any need of going into a blood covenant. Before I wrap up this video, let's go now to the common consequences of blood covenants. Number one will always be death. Most of the times, we notice that people that are going to blood covenants, if they eventually break the covenant, it always results in death. And apart from death, it could mar the person's future because somebody might have a very promising future but having to go into a blood covenant and whatever promise they had made during the, the contraction of this covenant could have a side effect in the person and the person's future so in my own opinion i don't see any reason why we should be going into blood covenants you that you're going into a blood covenant as a young person you might not really know what you want in life when you're going into a blood covenant they're much later in future when you realize that okay what i thought was gold wasn't gold and you want to back down you might end up taking your life or more grievous consequences so this is just what i had for you guys today if at all you are in any blood covenant at all go down to the comment section and let's talk about it there are other forms of blood covenant which i wouldn't go into in this video because it will really make this video too long so this is what i just came out to talk about blood covenant people do go into it without knowing the consequences so this was just the reason why i came out to talk about this today so if at all you enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on post notification bell in that way you always get notified when i post a new video see you guys on the next one for now bye bye guys